Welcome back to another episode here in Suave. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add a 3D object that has a texture or an image or even a video on it and add it to your 2D footage and make it look sort of like sci-fi futuristic. You can use this method to build sort of like, I don't know, things from like avatar type of thing, you know? But okay, yeah, in these examples, there's a few couple, couple of few things that are not perfect because this requires a lot of GPU power and I my laptop doesn't have enough for it. So I ha while I was making this, it crashed so many times. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to try to show you, there's like different methods that you can use. For example, all of these methods have a tracker on a certain point. Um, let me show you this fusion composition. This fusion composition has a tracker right here. And it was hard because the video is actually just rotating. So you it's it was hard to like find an actual spot that I was that was seen from from every angle as the camera moved, right? So I tried as I tried my best to like to adjust it to a certain point in here so then the actual 3D object can follow it. But another method or another way that you can do that is by having your object and this object is also moving so it adds a little bit more to, to the effect. But if you have a camera, then you will see that the camera um, is actually moving around the object. So you can use this method also to, to try to replicate the same camera movement that these that um let's see if it gets up gets on there and uh, to try to replicate that same camera movement as this video right here okay so then basically what you want to do is find a video and the the thing is that i swear i had seen this effect in one of sam calder's video i thought it was his his fpb drone video that he did a couple of months back and I just rewatched it last night and I couldn't find it like I was like I could swear that I saw that effect somewhere it was like a sort of like a cube but who knows maybe it was somebody else's video okay so then what are we gonna do we are going to we're gonna create a new timeline first of all and we're gonna since I'm recording right now I'm gonna try to make it I'm gonna leave it at 720p so it doesn't uh, take that much memory. So my OBS is also recording. Okay, we're gonna use this video of this lady walking down the, be the beach. And we're gonna see where could we put something. Um, so I think we might be able to put something and track it onto this rock. Although it, this kind of video works a little bit better or it's cooler if you are, if you are working on a with with drone footage and stuff like that. Okay, I got an idea. I'm gonna do a mini shape here and see if I can attach it to this part. Okay, so we're gonna go, first of all, we're gonna go to Fusion. And the first thing that we might want to do, you can start by the tracking, or you can start by doing the actual shape. Because for some reason, my memory catch is not going down. Let me just delete everything else. Everything, and then see if that goes down. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a tracker and we're gonna track it to this rock right here because it seems that it's uh, easy enough to track. And you also, when you're tracking, you wanna make sure that the actual, it's easier to track if there's a big difference of pixels, like right here. If there was a lot of more darkness in here that was similar to the rock color, it might have not worked as well. Okay, so we're gonna track that rock right here. And you can pretty much use any 3D shape. So for this one, I'm gonna try to see if I can add a cone and see if I can make a cone come out of here. And I'm gonna try to add this image right here. And this image, as you could see in the first video, there was um there was a it's it was sort of it was see-through. Like you could see it through it and there were like you can see the back part and that also sells the effect a little bit more and the way that i did that was i just went to gimp because i'm trying to do these all with a 
like showing in a way that it doesn't require you to buy anything. And then that, all right, our tracker just went crazy right here. So we're gonna stop it there and see what happened. Oh, it's because of this, this the thing disappeared. So how are we gonna do if the thing disappears? All right, it doesn't matter. We're gonna cut it, cut it right here so we don't have to go all the way there. All right, so then after we have that, we want to create our 3d shape for that we're gonna take uh we're gonna create a 3d render first and then we're gonna press 2 on it we're gonna create a merge and we're also gonna create a 3d object connected to that merge node and then we're gonna choose the the shape that we want so we're gonna put the cylinder here then we can adjust the things seeing it in a 3D. That's a cylinder. And let's see this cone. I like this cone. We're going to try with that one. Going to make it a little bit shorter. And like that. And I'm going to rotate it. So where is it? Oh, right here. Not that one. I'm going to rotate it with the X. I'm going to put minus 180, it doesn't really matter. And after I have that, I'm, I can add the image. We're going to try to, we're going to just add the same image. You can also add videos to these, so that actually makes the whole thing even cooler. You can use those as like, a, if your shape is in the middle of a landscape or whatever, and it has a, the next video, you can make your camera sort of like zoom into it and then kind of jump into that one. That would be a cool effect. Okay, so then when we have that, we can create a little bit, we're going to try to animate it and make a little bit of a rotation on it. So this Y is what's going to rotate and we're going to make it rotate. Um, let's make a full 360 or 300. Let's see if that works. So it slowly moves. And then after that, we first have to move, go to the tracker and press here and on the operation, selection part, you press match move. So that's gonna make this whole thing move, match the move of the tracker, sort of like follow it. Right now you can see how that moves. So right now the, the shape is right there. So it's not really in position. What we wanna do is we're gonna go and make it go backwards. And adjust the position to be right on top of that rock. So let's see right now if then the thing follows it. And it's sort of like a little bit on top of it. I want to make it go a little, be a little bit higher. And I'm gonna move it a little bit more there. So right now with that, it looks like it's right on top of it. And you can also even probably add a light and a camera effect. So that would sell the effect even more. Okay, so then after it renders, let's see how that looks. And I'm gonna just skip to that part after the whole thing renders out. Okay, it's all rendered out right now. And we are able to see the whole thing moving along with this rock. It's such a cool effect that I, I don't know, I just think it's really cool and it, can add a lot of really awesome things to your videos and yeah you can add any sort of shapes you can do it's unlimited the possibilities are unlimited you can make the whole thing be like a hallway that's full of these type of shapes and it's like a psy like a psychic or sci-fi trip or whatever i don't know i just get excited about these cool things and also maybe because of these colors they are super cool and yeah, so then once the whole thing renders out, it should be able to work well. Yeah, and it might have a little bit of jumps also here and there, but that's also up depending on where you how your tracker moves. If your tracker goes too crazy, you can adjust the tracking points. Like I'm gonna show you right now how I did it with the one that had the building moving around. Um, I had to adjust all the trackers manually and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a fast, uh, fast video of that, a time lapse of that when I was fixing it because it went crazy.
But yeah. So that's pretty much the effect. And I don't know, I really like it. I think it's a cool thing. And there's like a lot of cool things that could be done using these sort of like an sort of effect. And I'm not making it go even, I'm not making it go all the way because our tracker went crazy all here. But you can later on then animate these, these shape to come out of screen by making it even smaller because it actually makes itself smaller, you see? Although it should make itself bigger, I think. But so yeah, it's not working quite well there. I haven't figured that part yet, but I'm gonna that's that's pretty much it, you know. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you had learned something new that it has broad broaden broaden. How do you say that word? Uh it has expanded your your capabilities and understanding of DaVinci Resolve 16 right here. And yeah, so this was a video of how to add 3D shapes into your videos or 2D, 2D footage, I guess. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you could replicate this effect and try it and then also upload it and let me know because I really want to see what you guys can do about it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you like to do sort of like 3D stuff, mixing with 2D, uh, let me know down in the comments. Also, don't forget to like, like and subscribe if you want to watch more of these kind of videos. And let me know what kind of things would you like to see in the future. So, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I hope that I can see you in the next video that's coming out, hopefully next Tuesday. But I will try to do that and I'll see you next time here in Swabi.